Hello friends, Iram here for Alter New. Today I am going to share a card with you featuring the newly released Build a Flower Cattleya stamp set. It is a gorgeous stamp set. When the stamp was released um, a few days back, I shared a card where I stamped all the layers, did a bit of masking to make my border a bit fuller and then I colored the background with artist markers. In today's card, I follow the same layout of flowers coming out from one side, but this time I'll color the flowers with artist markers. I'll die cut them and pop them up on a watercolored background. I already stamped out the floral image a few times with Alter New Permanent Black Ink, which is perfect for both artist markers and watercoloring. And now that I have uh, got the reinker, it stems beautifully. I'll color just one branch on video and the rest of them off camera. I list the colors that I use in case you want to note them down. I do have all the shades listed in the blog post, link is in the description. I'll start by adding the darkest color which is crimson. I'm adding this color to add depth and to show shadows. I'll blend this with Peach Perfect Artist Marker. In the end I'll add Frosty Pink. Using markers from uh, three different families, I'll uh, get a new variation of color. This will be bending towards coral mostly, but uh, the petals would have hint of both peach and pink. After I've added the frosty pink, I'll go back in to add more depth. This time I'll use the tip to dip method and pick a color from crimson with the help of frosty pink artist marker. You will notice that I will go back in again to add more of peach perfect. I did this because I felt the petals were um, looking more pink than coral. For the finishing touch, I'll add dots on petals just to make it interesting and different from how the flower is supposed to look. You will notice that I am using the brush tip. This will help me in achieving a variation in dot size. Okay, I'll work on the rest of the image and be right back. If you don't like the music, please mute and turn on the closed captions. You will know when I'll start talking. If you want to change the speed of the video, please mute, go to settings and choose the speed you like. This is how the image looks after die cutting. Isn't it pretty? 
I have several other such pieces that I colored partially because I only just need parts of the images. If you see this on the original card, this too has one full stamped wine and portions of it repeatedly stamped. Now onto the background. I'll apply water to the background and then drop in color. I am going for the dripping watercolor background look. The color will be more concentrated on the upper portion of the card and I'll tone it down a bit as I move towards the lower edge. I'm using two shades of green to make my background. I'll keep adding splatters of both colors uh, while the background is still wet. This will give you a very cool looking background. You can stop here if you want to. I won't. I am aiming for a more grungy background. I'll dry the layers and add more splatters till I'm happy with the look. These are new watercolors that I'm using. They will be released in a couple of days so keep an eye out. So you see how grungy and full of texture my background looks. I love this kind of beautiful mess. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea so you can stop at the point when I suggested that if you want to stop you can stop here. I also added some black paint splatters and then decided to add hints of coral too. This was uh, so minimal that you would hardly notice it in the video. You do notice it in person though. It's light but it's there. Now I'll arrange my flowers. All of these um, go on foam tape on different heights. I'm going to speed this up a lot because it took me a lot of time figuring out the placement. Stamping on one layer and masking was much more easier than figuring out this placement. After I placed the images, I stamped the sentiment and uh, my card is complete. I hope you liked my card. Enjoy the process. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.